What's up guys, it's Focus. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool ghost transition. So first you wanna go over and grab an adjustment clip. Throw that on your timeline, right where you want your zoom to start. Now right click on your adjustment clip and click open in Fusion. Now, you wanna drop two transform nodes on your grid. Now go to the point in your clip where you want the zoom to start. Now we're going to create our actual zoom, so keyframe the start. The middle where the scene changes, one frame after, and at the end. So in total, you're going to have four keyframes. Alright, so go to your second keyframe, increase the size to about 5, go to your pivot, make sure that the pivot point lines up with Rock Lee's eyes. Now go to your next keyframe and shrink it down. Now you should have a graph that looks like this. So now I just hit Control A, now hit S to smooth your curves. Now make an ease in curve, just like that. And do the same for the last two. When you're done, the graph should look something like this. Let's play it through. Now we have a cool zoom in transition. Now we still have some alpha background, so let's change the canvas to mirror. And now we have a really clean looking zoom transition. Now we're going to go to our second transform node. And we're going to go to the third keyframe that was on our first transform node. Change the canvas to mirror again. Now keyframe where your second scene is about to start, which was the third keyframe on the first transform node. Now go all the way past your last keyframe that was on your first transform node. Hit keyframe, now zoom all the way in. Now adjust the pivot to line up with the round Rockley's eyes again. Now you want to smooth your curve again. So just deselect transform on number one, hit, hit control A, hit S to smooth. Now make an ease out curve. Now go to settings, go back to that third keyframe, keyframe the blend. Now go a little bit past your last keyframe and now keyframe on the blend to zero. Now do the same thing, hit control A. S to smooth your curve. Now make another ease out curve. Make your grab kind of look sim something similar to that. Now select your first transform node. Go to settings. Go to motion blur. You can play with those settings. It doesn't really matter too much. Now go to your second transform node. Do the same thing. Go to settings. Go to motion blur. 
and choose whatever settings you want. Now we're going to play it back. Now you'll have this really cool ghost zoom transition. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll link my Discord in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.